I don't know what else to call this video. My grandfather was a rail fan and in the 1930s began shooting movies. When I was growing up in the 1960s and 70s, I would often spend weekends at his house in Detroit and a highlight on Saturday night would be getting him to show one of his three reels. They were assembled in chronological order. One reel was more or less the 30s and 40s, one the 50s and one the 60s. Originally I started to put the video together likewise, but the geography fell into several buckets. The Detroit and Southeast Michigan area, Florida, Sault Ste. Marie and London, Ontario, and miscellaneous locations across the Midwest. So in the end I decided to make a separate video for each area. Even when he showed the movies in the 60s and 70s, they were aging and the film breaking was not uncommon, especially the oldest reel. Thus there are numerous splices which creates jumpy scenes. Also, as the older movies always seem to look, you know how they look like they're going too fast, you know, like people walking seem to be sped up. So I slowed the speed down a little bit when making this video, but that then also created a little bit of jerkiness. Around 1986, I had the movies transferred to VHS. As I realized VHS was on its way out, I transferred the footage to disc. Now I'm digitizing it. But of course each transfer degrades the image a little bit, unfortunately. My grandfather would incorporate his two sons into a lot of the movies. He also incorporated me. So although I have gotten pretty good at eliminating myself from photos, movies are another matter. Also, I know I don't have the greatest narration voice, but I did not want to have to caption everything. So that's the background. Let's roll the film. It's 1935, and this is at the Michigan Central Depot in Detroit. There's my uncle. It has the appearance that this set of movies was spliced in backwards, so reality may not be as it appears here. Hmm, what's next? There's some of the tunnel motors that took trains through the tunnel to Windsor. 1947 and a trip from Fort Street Union Depot in Detroit to Lansing, Michigan. And just like the Land of Oz, we suddenly have color. 1947 was also the year that Pierre Marquette and CNO merged. Some of the New York Central Tunnel Motors again in Detroit. Hey guys, watch the coupling. Uh -uh. There you go. Romulus, Michigan. CNO, southbound. Somewhere on the New York Central. Not quite sure where exactly. Romulus again, a Wabash westbound. And northbound on the CNO, grabbing orders.
southbound on the CNO. I believe this is New York Central, but not sure where. Dragging along a bud car. We now start the mid-1950s reel with the New York Central at Ann Arbor. The New York Central Hump and Yard Complex at West Detroit. I believe this to be near Rochester. GTW Port Huron with uh, 6410. He'll be getting on his train and departing. Here's a set of electrics with uh, a train either to or from Sarnia through the tunnel. My grandfather always really liked this uh, shot here with the drivers slipping. New York Central at Miller. near Del Rey. The Pennsylvania Red Arrow departing Detroit. New York Central, location unknown. GTW in the Birmingham Bloomfield Hills area. I believe this to be the GTW near Lansing. GTW morning commuters in the Bloomfield Hills area. My grandfather lived in Detroit, but he worked in Pontiac. So sometimes on his way to work, he would stop and film the inbound morning commuter rush.
Birmingham, Bloomfield Hills area. Square Lake Road, south side of Pontiac. New York Central, I believe it's one of the Ingersoll Rand box cabs, pushing cars through the washer. The B-Liner coming down from Bay City and Saginaw, heading into Detroit, seen at Bay City Junction. CNO departing Detroit. GTW at Durand. GTW Bloomfield Hills. By Updike Road. The overnight Muskegon to Detroit train would come down in the morning, intermingled in with the commuters inbound. Birmingham, Bloomfield Hills area. When I was a kid, I just thought this was the neatest scene. For the start of the third reel, which is the 1960s, we see GTW 6323 in July of 1961, running a fan trip over the New York Central between Grand Rapids and Jackson. That was the photo run by at Parmalee Curve, and here you see it coming into Hastings. Here's some steam engines of a different kind.
1963, the General was on tour. It is seen at Greenfield Village. the camera with these scenes. Well, I now make my appearance in film. This is 1964, and my grandfather and I made a train trip up to Durand and back. Here's a Toronto to Chicago train. I believe this is Toledo. It is 1966 and we are now at the GTW car ferry dock on the Detroit River watching the Huron of Sarnia shuttling cars between Detroit and the CN dock at Windsor. Not shown but also active then was the Lansdowne. This is roughly where the Renaissance Center sits today. In the 60s, the Michigan Railroad Club was pretty active sponsoring steam excursions between Detroit and Durand. Here we see the CN 6218 at Birmingham. Ooh, that looks fun. Pontiac. That looks better. Grandpa even got my neighbor friend into the act. My home was Birmingham and it had a high-level platform.
GTW at Fenton. My grandfather in 1968 got a release, uh, signed a release for us to be on the New York Central property there at West Detroit, so he took advantage of it. So here's the actual movie projector that showed them all these years. Quite a workhorse. <laughs> 